So I want to bring the chicks out to this side here. I have to make this place convenient for them. The reason you're pouring this sawdust is so that when the chicken brings out their pieces, it will not stick directly on the sack. You can use a sack, you can use cutter, whichever one that is close to you. So follow me on the Kemet TV as I give you updates on how to rear chicks. So you can also see this are the palms. Just hang this. See how, so that now they will start eating from here and this is their feet. When you put it here, makes it easy for them to eat. So I'll be putting in the second pan. So that's how now I'll be bringing out the chicks. So while I'm preparing this for them to come out, I have to make sure I have finished covering the whole floor and pouring my sodas on it. You can see these ones. I have separated them because they are already feeling somehow sick. So I don't want to mix them. I'll be keeping them separate. So guys, if this is your first time in my channel, please don't fail to subscribe to my channel, Ukemet TV, and tap the bell for notification of new videos. More videos are coming on this and also Kemet. Kemet TV deals with recipes. So I love you guys. So please don't fail to thumbs up and also share this video with friends and families. Keep watching. You can see the chicks. They are growing very well. So you can see that their tray has been changed. So this steel pan, and now they will be. I'll be bringing them out. I have to prepare this place now for them. So doing this, I am going to be pouring sawdust in those places. You actually, when you see a situation, you have to think fast on how you can, you know, make amends in some things. This is the lightning point, that's why it's like this. You know, in every situation you find yourself, you have to think fast. So, I thought of keeping this on the floor. And since the twine has not, has not much on it, I decided to use rope and tie it so that it will be easy for me to lose any time. The more they are growing, I will be increasing this. The more they are growing, that's how I will be increasing it so that 
as they are eating it, the more they are stretching, they will be becoming bigger, 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 very big, big. My chickens are going to be very, very big. So you can see that the time level are different. So that whole snake cannot reach this one, you reach this. Set, set, set that towel there. So now we'll be bringing them out. So shift the sawdust. Be opening everywhere so that they can come out. So guys, I hope you are watching and you are also not only watching but also subscribing and sharing the videos. So I'll have to I'll have to disturb them now and bring out move this so that they can start running out. You see them coming out. So let me let me make them come out now. Tap 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 carry your tray, carry your tray, carry your two trays, come out, come out. Yeah, come out, come out, come out, come out. Your trays are out. Your food trays are out. Yeah, you can see them coming out one by one. That's how they are all going to come out. The tray has been brought out. Very soon, you see them coming out. They are only trying to adapt to the environment, so they've been used to this inner room. So you can see them keeping themselves lying down. But I'm going to bring them all out so that they get used to this place. Here you can see the beds, they are all out and they are trying to adapt. You can see my wonderful construction. I had to do it this way, tying the rope so that the pan can be lifted from the ground.
I'm also trying to see another method of how I'll place my water bottle. They are so happy. The place now is so spacious for them. You can see them. Sometimes they'll fly from one side to another, you know, exercising their body so well. Enjoy watching this. Now it's time for me to bring in their water. Now, the work for this tree has just finished. They are not up to two weeks. They are not yet two weeks old, but it's as if they were eating more and they do well. Because seeing them at this stage, they are just about, what I call it, um, they are about 11 days old. They are not up to. And as at this stage now, which means you have to be very, very careful monitoring them and make sure they eat well. So you can see this tray I am using now. For this now, the pupil inside this, so I have to now change this to this. And to avoid them pupoing on it, I would not like to be putting it on the floor. That's why I am hanging them here so that it will be it will be difficult for them to just jump inside. But when it's on the floor like this, you see them jump inside here and they start pooping inside. And when they pooping inside, just like it is now, it also affects them and makes them fall sick. So you have to be very, very careful when rearing the chicks. So guys, I hope you are watching and not only watching Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So guys, I hope you are watching and not only watching, you have to subscribe my channel, like and also share the video for your friends and families. I also have here their water which I had already put some drops inside. And at this space, since I have to turn them, bring them here. I'm trying to make sure all of them drink from. See, I want to be sure they are drinking it very well. You see them gather there now. It's because it is drops. That's why I'm putting it that way. Wow, the place is so spacious. Eh, eh, see them flying. This is beautiful. Yeah, I want them to really take the box before we bring them in. Actually, wearing this poultry is easy, but at the, at the same time, you have to make sure you keep the environment neat always. You have to clean their pieces by changing the sawdust. You can see these are just fresh ones that I've just put in. In like two days time from now, you have to see that this thing will become muddy. They will have, the, you know, release all their feces everywhere and everywhere will become thick as much. But now it's fresh and you can see them, the environment is just making them so happy. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys in my next video. Don't forget to tap the notification bell for more videos so that you get updates of what's happening so you can see that the situation i'm doing now is putting their food on this tray when you drop the pan on the floor 
we easily climb the pan inside. That's why for now I decided to tie the pan here so that they will have to come and be putting their neck inside. When they put their neck inside, it makes them stretch and makes them grow well. And also, when they climb this thing and release their feces inside there, when they duplicate, it pollutes the food and you can, it can make them contact disease easily. So, so that's why this pan has just been removed so that they'll start making use of this tree. So I hope you are watching and you keep enjoying this wonderful video. So I have to put their water in this little way because it's the treated water for them to drink. See you guys in my next video. Please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Okeme TV, the TV that keeps you moving, moving, moving. I hope you enjoyed this wonderful vlog. See you guys in my next video. Bye. Ciao.